So hello everybody. I'm delighted to be here. Thank you very much to the organizers for inviting me again. This is my fourth year here. I'm my fourth time here. I can't believe it. And uh, my name is Maria Carol Rosinac. Um, I work at Scripps uh, in California in the Angel Solar. And I'm going to show you one of the projects there that is uh, building uh, structural reviews uh, and at the desktop library. So first of all, I would like to make this slide a little bit more personal because um, uh, I, I truly believe that there is this link between common and rare diseases. Uh, my dad suffered from COPD, uh, chronic obstru obstructive uh, pulmonary disease. It's a complex and common disease uh, with some treatment options. But in our case, uh, what is a common disease? Uh, it became a rare disease because any treatment treatment was working on him. So, um, uh, and recently, uh, uh, some investigations on rare diseases uh, and, uh, and gaining, gaining more knowledge on rare diseases uh, make an effect on common disease. And on common disease, for example, this last um, one of these recent um, um, studies publishing uh, uh, NGA1, uh, the NGA1 gene that is related to a rare disease uh, uh, as a possible target to treat uh, melanoma. So clearly, I think this is a win to win relationship here. But rare diseases suffer from lack, uh, lack, lack of data, as uh, Steve uh, said. And um, also, um, unfortunately, we, have, uh, we don't have a lot of knowledge. Uh, so, to gain more knowledge on rare diseases, key players are patients and researchers. Uh, it's a very uh, collaborative and active community. Uh, patients are very proactive, I can, I can say, patients and family, to try to find options, reading the literature, reading uh, uh, all kind of media, creating a social media uh, resources to, to foster this communication between uh, different parts. Um, yeah, so um, um, I came from the SU uh, lab, uh, this, that is a lab dedicated to support biomedical research uh, from this lab. Uh, some important and widely used uh, biomedical resources come up, like um, the Biothink Explorer or uh, the population of biomedical data into Wikidata or uh, other resources of, such as my to cure to, uh, to stru um, structure and structure uh, knowledge from, from literature. So, uh, and because the problem, it's always an opportunity. Um, for us, the opportunity came uh, uh, from uh, researchers uh, on uh, the um, glycoprotein research. Uh, working at Stanford, uh, 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 specifically uh, with the freeze, uh, freeze lab uh, researchers, um, that came us that came to us with a question uh, in the lab. Yeah. Uh, no, oh, no. <laughs> uh, they found a, a, a relationship between NGA1 gene and another gene. I don't want to mention because it's their research. Uh, at, at level of expression, and they uh, came to us to um, searching for support for them, uh, try to find a mechanistic relationship between um, these entities, um, and yeah. yeah. So based on uh, they had a, a prior uh, regulatory hypothesis, so but. Um, as uh, we can, no, 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 <laughs> we can make a leap of faith, uh, a leap of faith, and just have a hypothesis without any evidence. Or next one, uh, we we can we can try to find evidence that support uh, trying to find a, 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 a mechanistic explanation for our observation in the lab. So. Uh, essential uh, is uh, make a review of this evidence, but reviewing is hard. Uh, for example, in this regulatory hypothesis, uh, what kind of information is relevant for our problem? 
as all we know, um, searching for, once we have, once we know what kind of information we want to search, linking and searching for this information is difficult because the information is fragmented. And also there is a street light effect that we want to avoid, that this is this over observational um, bias. Uh, so this was specifically one of the questions uh, of our uh, collaborators in the lab that was so what, um, how to search expression databases to, to try to, uh, to link our, our observation with phenotype patients. So yes, when, once we have all this evidence that can support our hypothesis, what we next thing that we have to do is um, create a context put all this um, information into, in, in, into, the, in, into our context, our problem. And next one, our, our problem here, the context was the angle one uh, deficiency that is extremely rare disease. Uh, it's a congenital disorder of deglycosylation, the first one reported in 2012, that is pretty recent. Well, not that recent, but yeah, it's recent. Um, it's caused by variations, um, as much as we know, on the on one gene, angle one, that encodes an enzymatic uh, uh, an enzyme, uh, an enzyme responsible. One of the functions that we know is that it's responsible of the cleavage of glycoproteins, the glycoparts from the protein, and is extremely rare. Uh, um, uh, there are less than 100 patients diagnosed till now. And uh, at, at, clean, at level of clinics, um, the manifestations are very heterogeneous. So our, our goals in this project was uh, support uh, researchers to, be, to build a, a, a review around the disease and around uh, uh, the problem uh, in this context, to integrate, uh, um, to build up this review, integrating data knowledge, and to make this review human, uh, importantly, computer, accessible and, and actionable for a collabor collab for, to foster collaboration and to help collaboration. Uh, because sadly, as we know, reviews are uh, uh, locked in, in papers. And the approach, uh, because of that, the approach was to review all this knowledge and structure for hypothesis discovery uh, as knowledge networks. And, and this is one of the um, recommendations for precision medicine. And also uh, important here is deep phenotyping to uh, integrate um, biomedical data and clinical data. So the first, uh, the first uh, uh, thing in our approach, it, it was review all the interesting and relevant edges at level of knowledge around the disease, at level of information around the hypothesis, and integrating all this with uh, the experimental data with our collaborators. And a structure of this as a knowledge graph. Uh, why a knowledge graph? Because you can track the provenance, that is very important. Uh, it's the first thing that uh, researchers uh, look when they found some metagraph interesting. Uh, it's computable. Uh, it's a data structure that you can use and uh, uh, you can manage computationally and integrate into workflows, and it fosters semantic science. Uh, so uh, the strategy was integration of these edges, retrieval and integration of these edges, and, and, and using Neo4j, Neo4j query this uh, graph to extract some hypotheses. Okay. So we build the uh, structural review, uh, defining the different topics and using different resources, different uh, databases, uh, experimental data, uh, um, uh, integrating transcription factors with genes. So it's very interesting, one of the topics that I, I heard uh, before, and very, very interesting. And by creating the, the, the literature, importantly, when we by create the literature, next one, please. Uh, uh, we structured this nice uh, recent paper about the phenotyping the angle one efficiency that they, this became, uh, we provide these resources, structured resources of uh, 100 um, HPO terms into HPO and uh, we also uh, foster to um, uh, derive from that, um, we mean uh, HPO has 45 new terms. Uh, we set up uh, a, a Neo4j uh, browser to help uh, the researchers to explore and visualize this uh, network. Yes, please. 
Also, we set up a wiki base for uh, foster uh, to add expert knowledge into these graphs and foster this collaboration in the, in between the, uh, the community. Next, please. And because uh, knowledge is uh, discovery and refinement of hypothesis is iterative, next, please. <laughs> Um, we uh, develop a library to build these structured reviews and to build this graph and also to uh, this structured review and also the structured hypothesis uh, derived from this review. Um, uh, yeah, the design is a Python library with different models. And in the uh, next, please. Here in the Biathlon, my goals, my main goals um, uh, would be uh, trying to use this nice semantic web to retrieve interesting edges and, and to help me to build this review uh, using various things and using uh, other resources here. And next, please. And finally, uh, build a, a web front end for this uh, wiki base and try to make a portal for NGA1 researchers and patients and family to go there and keep track of, of more knowledge. And Thank you very much to, to the organizers again, and if you have some questions. Thank you. Yeah,